Hi, I'm Dami from eLearning Channel Museum. How are you doing? It has been a little while since we finished the first session. I supposed to come a little earlier, but it took a little longer than I expected. There were so many things going on, and it took a little time to prepare the second session. In this second session, we're going to talk about chords. There are basic chords, C chord, G, F, and E and A minor chords too. But we're not gonna learn minor yet, but we're mainly focusing on major chord. And every week, we're going to learn a song. And with the song, we're going to learn new technique and new chords. Do you remember last time we learned this chorus going up and down? In lesson 10, Lean On Me, we learned that, right? So with that technique, we just expand a little more and play other songs. Have you ever heard When the Senko Marching In? That's a very famous song. So we will start with that one using this technique. different way. So now let's see how it goes. In technique number one, we're going to learn playing a left hand chord with right hand melody lines. Do you remember last time in Lean On Me, we played a chord stepping up and down in the last lesson from lesson 10. Now, in this lesson, we're going to add one more. Right hand melody line and left hand will play it together at the same time, going up and down. Let's go. Ready? One, two, ready, play. C and step up together at the same time. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step down. Step down. Step down. Step down. Okay, this is very simple. Just remember to drop your both hand at the same time. Drop it at the same time. Lift it up and then drop at the same time. But you have to remember your right hand, you have to hold it. And going up, right hand, hold it down until you play the next note. Your left hand, you have to drop at the same time with your left hand. One, two, three, four. This is very straightforward and easy. But next technique is a little bit confusing. The next technique is the one that we're going to use today. Technique number two is almost the same as one, but the difference is one hand at a time. So right hand will play it first and left hand will play it later. So let's see how it goes. It will be a little slow, I will start. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, left hand drop. Two, left hand step up and drop. One, left hand drop. Right hand up and left hand drop. Right hand, left hand up and drop. Step down, drop, step down, drop, step down, drop, step down, two, three, four. So you will play it one hand at a time, right hand and left hand, right hand, left hand. This technique is the one that we're going to use today when the single marching in. Now, let's move it on to the song. This song became very popular after Louis Armstrong sang the song. It's 4-4 four, four time signature, but both ends starts with rest. There is no note at the first beat. And the first note starts with second beat. In this case, we call upbeat. When there is no notes for the first beat, we just leave it out the rest and starts from the second beat and write it. But later on, we will learn more on theory but today, we'll count from the first beat to be easy. 
Now let's see, if you look at the right hand, it starts with the rest and start on second beat on middle C and right hand skip up, up, up. So what you have to remember, just from C to skip up, better step up. And you repeat it the same one, two, three times actually. And then skip, 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 and step down. So right hand is pretty simple. Let's see left hand. If you look at the left hand, we have all the two combinations. Either chord, C chord. You know the C chord, right? Because it was built up on the C to skip up and up. And then the very bottom note is a C. So we call that one C chord. So we play it on C chord for a while and if you're looking at the very last measure of the second line there is a G which is top note of the C chord so you just change to G and coming back to C chord again and there is only one part that out of the these two patterns if you're looking at measure 12 which is on the third line there's left hand, D, E, F. How are you going to figure it out? Now, from C chord to stepping up note. So with the finger number four and step up and up. Remember it that way. Now, let's just start both hands together, but in slow tempo. One, two, three, four, one, two. supposed to play. First, there's lots of rest and right hand, left hand never plays at the same time. It always plays one hand at a time, which sometimes makes you more confusing. So you have to be careful. Now, if you're looking at the very first line, right hand starts with C, E, F, G. After that, there's a whole note. So you have to keep holding it until the first beat comes, you have to keep hold it. So you have to remember, keep holding your pinky. But the problem is, sometimes you forgot to leave on the rest. That one is okay. At the very beginning, when you practice, don't think about the rest. Just keep holding the whole notes because that one is more important. That's the melody line. So you have to keep hold it. C, E, F. G, hold that note. And you can just play a left hand. And then if you forgot, you can just keep holding it. The right hand is fine. As long as you play on the right time, that's fine. And right hand, while you're playing it, one and coming to the third beat, your left hand has to leave. 
because there is rest, but it's not easy to leave on right time. That's fine. At the first time, just keep practice to be on time. You can just leave it. Rest, you can ignore for the first time. And when you are free from the note playing, then you can think about it. But at the beginning, you can just ignore the rest. Just keep holding everything. Sometimes that's much easier. Like this. Just keep holding everything. One, two. Just keep holding. That's right. Just keep holding it. That's fine. Don't care about it. As long as you play it on the beat, that's more important. The first, play it note on the right tempo. And when you can play a right tempo well, then focusing on the rest, the last of thing. This time, we're going to play it a little fast. Find hand position on C, both hand. Ready? Don't forget there is rest. One. Two, three, four, rest. Two, three, four, one. until you can play this tempo then think about the rest now there is one part that you have to take it out and practice a couple of times the second line the second measure and third measure which is measure six now this one because this one the right hand keep holding the note because it's a half note but the left hand is just quarter, so you just have to play it, you have to lead. And also, when you play the chord, you have to make sure you drop at the same time, like this. So you have to drop the note at the same time. So you have to practice this part a couple of times. This one coming on the third lines too. Right? The same way. But this one is just C. So take it out this part, practice a couple of times, and practice whole entire song. This time, I'm going to play it in extra tempo. You don't have to play it this fast, but I will just show you how it's supposed to be. And this is pretty fast the song. So now let's see how it goes. Fine hand position. I'm going to see both hand. And then it goes pretty fast. Ready? One, two, three, four, one. <laughs> And when you can play it well, speed up a little bit, little by little. And when you can play it well, then focusing on the rest. And after that, when you can play it well, then speed up. How was the lesson? It's kind of short, right? Shorter than the first session. In the first session, we had so many things like sign reading, techniques, and songs. But in here, we mainly focusing on the song. And when it needed, I will edit side reading or techniques more, but basically as I need it, I will just adjust to the lesson. So it can be a little shorter or it can be even longer. 
Today, I just started a little shorter lesson. When you practice this song, just practice it slow. Don't try to play it fast. Because this lesson is short, it doesn't mean that your practice time is short. You have to practice more than before because the song gets complicated and fast. So if you want to play a faster tempo, first, you have to practice slow, at least for three days. And then after that, speed up gradually. And also, from June, I'm going to start kids' lesson for kids. I have seen so many parents are teaching their kids with this video. This is actually for others, grown up, not for the kid. So I decided that I might need to do kids stuff. So I will start from June. So wait until June. Once June started, you can maybe use the kid stuff too. Not for the beginner. If it gets harder and harder, then you can use as a supplementary stuff too to review the things that we have learned before. Learning piano is a long process. It's not going to happen in one day or in one month, but rather it takes like about three, four years. I have been playing more than 30 years actually, 40 years. So don't be upset if it doesn't come right away. It just takes time. It's like before. I hope you enjoyed the practicing and We'll see you next week. Bye.